I'm Bjorn from Skeno. Welcome in our little studio. Another session and I hope you're ready for a little trick. I will show you how to add stitches on the side of your knitting to knit a trim or a, a ribbon or something around a shawl on the end of a sweater around the neck. We, so the uh, subject is picking up stitches around something or on something what you knitted before. And it is very easy. There's nothing you need to be afraid of. As I always say, it's a little bit math involved. And uh, the gauge from your work is important. The gauge is being transferred over to the side or wherever you're picking up stitches, even if it's a diagonal. And uh, our Miss Grace shawl has a really, really, really big, big uh, ra uh, border all the way around. Therefore, you need such a long needle. But there are it's a triangle, so you have given stitches, you keep them alive. Then you have the diagonal, and then you have the straight edge, which one is in a rectangle. So it's, but it's all the same. The gauge is your guide. So follow me, I will show you what I think you need to know. I have prepared for our today's uh, lecture our Miss Grace scarf and the freeform scarf. You maybe you remember the, the half forms here. And um, I will pretend that I need to add here a, a border or whatever and to pick up stitches here on this side. So it belong, doesn't belong to the scarf, but this is a good example how to do it. And the first what you need to do is, do you need a ribbon on a sweater or cuffs? Which one should be, be a kind of a good elastic? Then you have to pick up less stitches than your gauge. But if you do just a border like here, like I want to show you on the scarf, then the gauge is your guide. So you pick up as many stitches per inch or per four inch as your gauge is for the trim. So, and I will measure this now. So let's figure this one out. So let's count first four inches. I would say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, would be 15. So 15 stitches. And if we would pick up here 15 stitches, we would go with 4 inches. And I will mark my beginning of the 4. And I'm using a different color. So this is the best help and you don't have to redo it and uh, just go with the four inches. So I'm just taking the four inches. Otherwise you start at the beginning and you do four inches, four inches, four inches, or whatever makes sense with the piece you are knitting. So I will just mark myself four inches. So from this marker here to down here. So these are my four inches where I have to pick up 15 stitches in total. So this is the best way and you've, you work around your uh, four inches to have the right stitches here. And if it doesn't work, you have to take apart only four inches and not the entire shawl, whatever you do. So I will turn this around now and I will show you how I pick up the stitches. There are, this is really nice to see here because of the turns with the garter stitch. You see here already the yarn from from the first stitch turn around. If I count this, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is by accident wonderful for me. So I'm just going and pick up each stitch. But if this would be looser, then you need to do the math. Just figure this one out and try. 
I am working with two different techniques to pick up the stitches. If the edge is really clean and nice and neat uh, and you don't have to hide anything, then you can go right away and I will use now uh, a different yarn here. You can go right away in one stitch from the edge and you make one. So I just pull it through. If you have a hard time doing this with your needle, you can also take a crochet hook and I will use this for the second technique. So you take each loop here and make one stitch. That is the best way for this garter stitch and it will be looking really really nice and neat. So I have to do 15 and as I counted out 15 ridges but I'm sorry for this that this is just uh, such a good fit. It takes a little while uh, to do so but just pick it up and then I will show you the back side. So you see there is no no uh, a little trim or brim or something or a hard edge or a thick bulky edge that works the best way if you do this. I will show you also you could go through the hole here and make one stitch and I will show you on the back side how that looks like because then you have something what you need to hide and for a shawl you don't want this edge here. This is just this is just ugly. This is not nice. This looks so much nicer here on this side. It is smooth on this side and smooth on that side. So let's take this off and I go and pick up from one garter stitch ridge just the yarn from turn around when you finish your front row and you turn around and you knit your back row. And just take your needle, take your time have good light. So this goes with the needle and you see I have our time. So let me switch to a crochet hook. That goes much easier. So you pull up a stitch, go in here and pull up a stitch. There we go. Then you can go all the way through with your needle and on the other hand you move it over to your knitting needle. So this is the best way to have on a shawl a clean edge here. You will see and on the other side, of course, the, the blue for my uh, different color here to show it, it shows here the little dots, they would completely disappear. And therefore I will use the yarn where I knit it with so you can really see how that yarn is disappearing and you have a really really nice clean edge. So the yarn is slightly thicker. So let's see how it works. Or let me take the crochet hook. That goes easier. So go in that one, pull a stitch, and the next one, pull a stitch, and so on. As I said before, take your time. It needs to look nice and neat. So I will pull the needle through and move my stitches to my knitting needle. And then I will show you the back side, how that looks like. There we go. So there is nothing what's in the way. It just goes instead of the rows this way. You go horizontal and this blends wonderful in. Of course, if you change the color or if you have to pick up uh, the stitches on the side for the Miss Grace shawl, then of course you pass by different colors and of course you will see the line. So on that, in this particular places, you need to be really, really nice and exact and don't make big loops here. So just try to be even. So I will show you another thing, another way how to do it just in case your edge is not as neat as it is here. And for that reason I'm really neat. I'm taking only my crochet hook. So I'm going now in here and crochet one like as if I knit. And then I move 
my knitting my crochet hook to the back and do kind of a purl stitch from the back so one from the front and pull the stitch to the front and one from the back and I pull the stitch to the back what it does is it's holding the entire edge nicely together so and it will be on both sides the same but you grab with your stitches uh, you grab the edge and it is symmetric so so the wrong side and the right side looks the same so again you go from the front and pull the stitch to the front then you come from the back and you pull the stitch to the back there we go and then of course if you move them to your knitting needle just pull the crochet hook through and again the number of stitches you have to pick up need to match your gauge for a shawl because otherwise it will cr uh, move this all together or it makes this too wide and too long and it will wave so measure your gauge write down your gauge whatever the gauge is in the pattern provided doesn't necessarily is your gauge not for a shawl because you have kind of a freedom to adjust with your gauge but this really looks nice and I will do this again with the crochet hook and with the original yarn so you can see how this really looks so again I'm not paying attention to the gauge I'm just showing you so from the front and do the stitch go from the back and do the stitch from the front to the back from the back oops from the front pull the stitch to the front from the back pull the stitch from the back so you see it's like it's doing a kind of a wrap around your edge and when you knit this it will really look really nice and it's clean so you have no really uh, something to hide that is uh, the best way to do so you see here that uh, it, it opens up a little bit but when you knit over you it, it will come together again so of course there are some little tricks also um, if you by any chance not paying attention that you have the right stitches here I would always mark it and you need to have 15 stitches you could have here maybe 14 and the next time you can have 16 but if you make a mistake and you knit the first row over it you can knit two together to get rid of one stitch or if you have not enough stitches the the first row you knit over your pickup row you always can adjust and uh, either way knit two together or make one and you know already for me from my last little video you can knit the back leg and the front leg and there is no hole it just will, will be hidden so this is actually all what I want to show you and again practice 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 find your best way what you like to do and uh, if it's a stockinette stitch it will be a little bit harder because it tries to roll but you will you will get it and if you want to knit a, a, a trim on it like maybe knit one pearl one just something elastic around your waistband or your, around your neck or for a cuff just do the gauge and do the math and decide how many stitches you need on four inches mark the four inches and then just pick up the stitches you need for this distance so I think that was it um, have fun practicing if you need help just email me and I will answer thank you bye bye